Hey everybody, it's Randy with Tarkeology, and I wanted to share a Volkswagen bus that we just listed on oldbug.com. This is a 1956 23 window uh, microbus, deluxe microbus, or Samba as they're called, and it's painted in its original sealing wax red and chestnut brown uh, color. Now, these are really interesting buses, the early models this being a 1956. This is a bus that was originally built at the Wolfsburg plant. Um, and the Wolfsburg buses are a little bit different than the later model ones that were done at Hanover. Uh, and when you get down underneath it, you can see some of those differences. This is uh, fairly early in the post barn door era. There's a lot of unique little details and stuff for these early buses. And this particular one is restored to an absolutely stellar level by a company uh, up in the Pacific Northwest called Silver Lining Restorations. Now, this is a bus that they did for a client of theirs. They did it to showcase their uh, abilities, and I think they did that spectacularly well on this particular bus because it is an absolute knockout inside and out. So let's uh, look in greater detail at this bus and I will try to point out a few little uh, horny details as we get into it further. Uh, obviously it is the 23 watt window model which everybody loves so much. Uh, kick panels here have the proper pattern to them. That's an extremely early design. Really hard to find that material. The interiors are done in the proper colors. Uh, all the proper finishes and stuff are there. Uh, dash is uncut and proper. Early uh, big button Sapphire Bendix radio in there. 72 miles on it since the restoration of this bus. Uh, it's got Safari windows installed. Um, nicely done there. Uh, dash color is correct. Interior colors are correct. Uh, nice paint finish in the door jams and things like that. Uh, all the heater control knobs, everything is proper and correct. Ivory color for the deluxe model has the dash clock, uh, has the early style fresh air vent up above with the little ribs in it. Early style nose there as well with the larger headlight buckets. Uh, proper rubber mat in place, the right door seals, uh, really finished off beautifully down in there. Uh, dog legs on there, the, that wheel arch, that's an item that is uh, uh, unique to the Wolfsburg buses that changed when production went to Hanover. Uh, deluxe steering wheel with the proper horn button, um, beautifully detailed. I mean, even underneath the dash, this thing is spotless. Um, big props to these guys for doing a proper restoration, really getting in deep and focusing on each and every little detail. Uh, it really, really shows. I mean, even the material on the parcel tray looks fantastic. Uh, door panels have the uh, pressed in pockets, uh, nicely done there. The early escutcheons on the uh, underneath the groove door handles, deluxe model, early press board. Uh, sun visor, that's a rare piece. It's got all the jail bars and stuff in there. Blue tinted skylights. Uh, it looks like German square weave in here. Upholstery is done beautifully. Uh, Silver Lining recently took over West Coast Classics interiors, uh, and so they're doing interior production up there at their facilities. Um, and West Coast Classics has always had a, a phenomenal name to it, and it looks like they've got the right people behind it to pick it back up and take it into the future. Uh, correct early seats, uh, the jail bars in the back, the luggage rail across there, the proper handles on the center seat. Uh, looks like the headliner is nicely done. Again, these uh, these parts like the uh, coat hooks here, the long spoon latches, uh, all of that sort of stuff is really hard to find if you're doing one of these things and trying to do it right. And I'm not seeing anything that's out of place on this bus when it comes down to the details that are involved with it. Uh, just, just beautifully done. Um, possibly those uh, armrests in there, 56, I think may have had a, a metal bottom to it rather than the solid one. I just saw that one go by. In any case, you can check my, my thoughts on that. But... Um, Again, fit and finish, quality all the way around is really impressive on this bus. Great color combination. I love the caramel colored interior with that ceiling wax and red, uh, ceiling wax and uh, chestnut brown paint color on the outside. 
Uh, it's very classic, very correct, very proper, and a very early, early setup there with that. Uh, 23 windows, can't get any more than that with the VW bus. Um, and an early model like this is certainly highly prized. Uh, looks like the correct um, sunroof handle there, the goldy one with the groove. Uh, again, it's got all the coat hooks, it's got all the proper spoon latches, the jail bars, nicely detailed handles and everything. Engine is a fully rebuilt 36 horse. Looks like it was a new old stock block without a casting number on it. Uh, so this thing was rebuilt uh, from proper stuff all the way through. Uh, nice early BR8 distributor. Looks like all the tags are in place in the engine compartment. Very important with these buses. This bus does have a proper pedigree to it. Uh, it's got the correct uh, deck lid uh, with the third brake light and uh, the, uh, the proper stand to hold it up. The underside is restored to absolute show level. You can see that hoop style a uh, cradle mount for the trans in the back. That is something that you'll see on the Wolfsburg buses, but not on the uh, the stuff that was produced at Hanover. Um, again, beautifully done down underneath here. All the proper early stuff, everything rebuilt, top to bottom, front to back. This thing is factory fresh. In fact, I would say it's probably far better than it was when it left the Wolfsburg factory in 1956. Um, beautifully done. Looks like split case trans in there. Uh, the wheels are the proper wheels. Belly pans are restored and painted perfectly. Um, just gorgeous. Now, I, I do admit the underside of this is probably a bit over restored. I mean, they never made them quite this nice at Wolfsburg. Uh, but when it comes down to doing the best quality restoration work you can do, uh, it's it's hard to, hard to fault this one. I mean, it's stellar all the way through. Uh, looks like the hubcaps and trim rings were correct as well as those went by. Good early horn in place. Uh, wiring and everything looks stellar. I mean, this is an absolute top-level bus, and it is up for sale. It will be posted soon on oldbug.com. The asking price is $195,000, and it's worth every penny. Bye-bye. <laughs>